A terror attack in the West Bank, an Israeli Defense Force soldier has been stabbed to death in Gush Etzion. The soldier's body was found early on Thursday morning with multiple stab wounds to his body. The 18-year-old soldier was studying at a yeshiva, that's a religious school in the area. His family has been notified by army authorities. A widespread ID surf is underway for the attacker or attackers. Investigators are also looking into the possibility that he may have been the victim of a kidnapping attack. Now, in just the last few moments, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is responding to this terror attack, saying on Twitter, This morning we learned of a severe stabbing attack. Our security forces are pursuing the vile terrorist in order to bring him to justice on behalf of myself and the government. We are sending condolences to the family. Also in the last few moments, President Ruvain Rivlin saying our prayers this morning are given to the soldier's family after he was murdered by a vile person. The heart aches for the short-lived and noble life that was cut short. We will strengthen our security forces that are pursuing the murderers and we won't quiet until we find them. Well, for the latest on the story now, let's cross to the scene. Our correspondent, Pierre Kloschendler, is there in Gush Etzion. Pierre, what is happening where you are right now? What can you confirm for us? Well, uh, you can see behind me there's a, a border police uh, checkpoint just leading to the religious seminary near to which the body of that 18-year-old soldier was found on the slope leading to the religious seminary. Uh, there is a manhunt going on right now on different levels. Uh, the Shin Bet, the uh, uh, security services, and the Israeli army are right now trying to uh, find the culprits of that attack. Uh, there is a suspicion that the body was dropped here after being, after the soldier was was being kidnapped by the terrorists and just dropped here uh, and as if it was a botched kidnapping attempt. But uh, right now it's still very difficult to know. The body was found only uh, five and a half hours uh, from now. Uh, I have next to me the head of all the religious institutions to which that religious seminary uh, belong, to which the soldier was learning. Uh, Rabbi Kenneth Brandel is next to me. Uh, Rabbi Brandel, what can you tell me about what happened tonight? Well, I think I can tell you more about the young man. This was a young man who, this was the last day of school, last day of seminar, and he was about to begin his full service in the army. Uh, he went to buy presents for his teachers uh, to say thank you. That's the type of young man he was. But he also wanted to be uh, back in time to the yeshiva to study the evening session. And so he called his chavruta, the person he studies with, and he said, I will be there on time at 8.30. Uh, when his chavruta, when his study partner realized that he wasn't there, we obviously got concerned. Uh, we started looking for him. We called all the authorities who immediately jumped into action, immediately. Um, and unfortunately, as you already mentioned, uh, we found him murdered. Um, but we will continue our dream, and our dream is to build this land. We will continue to do it in peace with our neighbors, both the Jews and Arabs alike. And um, unfortunately, the, sometimes there are sacrifices in a dream, and this special young man, very special young man, someone who was friendly with all his teachers, all his students, loved loved it loved the environment, loved the surroundings, was a tragic, tragic, unnecessary sacrifice in the process.